Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Dark Souls 3 Lore Through. <clears throat> um, before we get started in the catacombs, we're going to um, grab Hawkwood Shield here. Shield that belonged to Hawkwood, a deserter from the Undead Legion, as we assumed. The unique swordsmanship of the Watchers does not normally allow for the use of shields, because they use that like dagger in their left hand. The unique swordsmanship of the Watchers would not allow such a shield, and Hawkwood's very possession of it was telltale of his defeat. So anyway, Hawkeye, Hawkwood, is gone. But his story is not, is not uh, over. He was searching for something unique. Alright. So... Let us go. Oh, I, I also got the nameless <laughs> set. Um, it was very close to where I was looking, but I just didn't go far enough. Um, and uh, <laughs> it doesn't have much lore, so, you know, but we can read it. Helm of the Nameless Knight. Crafted with thin metal, greatly reinforced by a groove finish. There we go. Glad I grabbed it. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Oops. Alright. Let's go check this goblet out. Oh. Carthus. We've heard about Carthus. Although, I wouldn't say we know a ton. When I first played this, I actually found this. And so, like, I kind of skipped most of this area on my first playthrough. I don't get souls from them. Carthus Rouge. Okay, I got souls that time, so I think you just have to kill him twice. Highly viscous scarlet plant secretions associated with the warriors of Carthus, whose blades take on the scarlet hues of both this sanguine substance and the splatters of their victims' blood. It causes bleeding. Here's one of the main enemies. I mean, obviously the... <laughs> I almost fell there. Obviously the skeletons are the main enemy, but that's kind of one of the, like, I don't know. Interesting, that doesn't kill him. Carthus Pyromancy Tome. A Pyromancy Tome from Carthus containing Pyromancies crafted for battle. Give to the old master pyromancer to learn pyromancies from Carthus. Carthus pyromancies developed in isolations from other forms, explaining their divergent evolution. I don't know, that's a well worn idea for me. Like, we've had diverging. We've had diverging pyromancies for since the first game, so. 
There's probably some cool pyromancies in there, but you know. Oh, those are fast. Um, I'll go back down there in a little bit. But I can go down here, like, so what? Oh, is it just... Yeah, I guess I can get to it from below here. I guess I'll do that. Still got hit by it. Kite this guy out without getting this other guy. Sometimes you gotta not lock on. It's probably for the best. I can definitely level up another item that's not twinkling. I'm sure I have enough now. This guy moves around quite a bit. Maybe I should have locked onto him. Sharp gem. And this is where I would have come. Yeah, I went that way. Okay. Yeah, so I hate these guys. Or, I mean, these guys are hard. The other guys are pretty manageable. Hopefully I can make it to the next bonfire safely. Who's this? Oh, hello. Henry. Very fortunate. Have you seen my companion, Horace? Mm -mm. To my shame, I was snared by a trap and we've become separated. I've not been able to find him since. Unfortunately, no. Yes, I see. Horace is a valiant knight. He can look after himself, no question. He's probably searching for me right now with twice the resolve. But if you happen upon him, please tell him that I remain in the catacombs and will lay prison 
and stones to guide him, as always. Please send him my word, I beg of you. Will do. May the flames guide your way. So yeah, I mean, Henri said that she was going to go to Irithyll via the Farron Keep, so we're on the same path. If you happen upon Horace, that I remain and will lay prison stone, please send him his name. Okay. Great. Down to nothing. All right. We'll come along with this video. Fine. Ten minutes in, almost done with the first part of the catacombs. I feel good. I guess a uh, ball drops somehow. Um, What's interesting is that, like, oh, okay. The ball goes up and down. Um, and if you were to kill it, although I don't know how to kill it, there's a little crab inside. Don't know why. Um, yeah, so we're going to take the shortcut for sure. Then we can kill those archers and uh, hopefully get our hopefully get our souls back. Oh uh, yeah, they're up there. Trying to get on this, uh... There we go. Cool. Now there is this guy with a hat here. It's kind of interesting. And open this. But this cat guy runs around. It's weird. What do I have? Yeah, I forgot. Ooh, I think that's a parry stance. This guy has pursuers. Yeah, and he. <laughs> that's kind of. They're human drag pursuers, too. Oh. It's like you can't run up to me while I'm attacking someone else and just be by me enough to, like. Oh my gosh. Wow, I've never had this issue with this part. souls there but okay wow that was intense so yeah I think these with the cloth on the top those have pursuers in them but like these don't also there's like Ugh. 
But this is the Karthus milk ring, which that guy was wearing, which makes him roll invisibly, which I kind of like when I do my dex build. Um, ring worn by warriors of the Sand Kingdom, Karthus. We know Hugo is a Sand Kingdom. Slightly boosts dexterity and obscures the wearer while rowing. rolling. The sword technique of Karthus allows for fluid movement with a curved sword. Masters of the technique are said to dazzle their opponents by moving as weightlessly as a grain of sand. They live for their high lord Wolnir, conqueror of most kingdoms known to their people. There's a trap here. This is tough. I don't have any. Ugh. But he doesn't die, I don't think. Something about this area sucks, that's all I know. Gotta keep moving. Can't get across there. Um, is this the only way to get to the... It's gonna drop their rare, rarer sword. Too bad, not today. Wow, I did not mean to jump there. Ember. Okay. I like how the like, there's like skeletons pulling themselves forward there. Okay. Oh. So that, that must have burst open for some reason, that ball. Um, yeah, I'm going to get that before everyone respawns. Not even going to with this right now. Just going to just do this safe. Take us a little longer. We're only 20 minutes in and we're almost done with the cat cat catacombs. We have one, like, I guess we have a third left. If you could say we've done two thirds, we have one third left, so. But yeah, this is an undead bone shard, I believe. Yes. So worth it. I think that's related to killing the guy with the helmet. For the weird hat, the skeleton with the hat. Not sure. Okay. Looks like these guys are all permanently dead, which is good. Um, and I lit that. Okay. But I'm gonna rest at it now. I might actually, well, no, I'm not going to go back. I'll just go down. Again, better safe than sorry.
Okay, we have a big rat down here actually. I guess let's try a number at this point. Got these bone skeletons, which are not nearly as tough as they were in any game. Well, I guess they're more like Dark Souls 2 tough. Oh, didn't see that coming. I'm good, it doesn't stack damage. Why can't I hit this? Wow. Never thought that uh, the slimes would ever give me an issue. still stand the same. Oh yeah, they're a little, a little tanky. I guess that was their trade-off in one. Did one already fall down? Their trade-off in one was that um, they were easy to kill, but they eviscerated you. What? They give you two. Like you're screwed if you want to avoid it. You screw if you don't want to. If you can't, don't know about it. Karth is bluttering. Okay. Ring worn by warriors of the Sand Kingdom. The sword technique of Karthus allows for fluid movement with a curved sword. Masters of the technique. Yep. Okay, same. But it boosts rolling invis invincibility at a cost of defense. So if you make your build real nice for that, then that can be super powerful. All right, here's another one of my guys I hate. Okay, let's see if we can do it without too much problem. I'm gonna lock on this time. Oh, <laughs> he revealed a hidden wall. What happened? I thought I had stamina. What? I must not have had stamina? Not really sure. All right. Yeah, see, I don't have any, uh, Doesn't do that much damage, actually. That's fine. Oh, okay. Oh. Here. Um, I think that's the way I'm supposed to go. So we're gonna go up the hidden. Okay. Actually, we got a pop. 
stop this. We got another, oops. I, <laughs> that doesn't do much of anything. Okay, die now, okay, good. Grave Warden's Ashes. Umbral Ash of the Grave Warden of the Catacombs of Carthus. With this, the Shrine Amulet will prepare new items. The old man began as a squire, carrying his master's accoutrement, but ended his days a Grave Warden and carried them still. And what is he carrying? Like a dagger? Bone? Definitely nice. Okay. Oh, I hate these guys. Getting some large Titanite numbers, though. another guy with the... So do I have to kill this guy and then that ball will break when it comes back down? Surely not gonna have another undead bone ash or whatever. Huh, okay. So I guess... Oh! <laughs> So I guess he was telling it to go back. Like he was like, all right, don't run into the wall, go back. Let's go check it out. What is it? Oh, and yeah, there's a crab inside. Dark gem. It's not the deep gem. Born of disembodied humanity, dark weapons inflict dark damage and scale with intelligence and faith. So dark and pyromancy are kind of tied in a sense, because they have the same function, like they have the same mechanics. But at least they keep like hexes and dark to a certain extent. Ooh. Wait, what? What? Oh good, I was gonna say. This guy's got an interesting sword. I'll take it. Yellow bug pellet. Okay. There's our shortcut, which we never actually went in anyway to get the ember. All these bones are moving. You know they're going to come to life. Okay, Night Slayer Zorg. Who has the fume great sword? There's the shield bash. Yeah, I think this guy's tough, unfortunately. Okay, that does all my health. I really want to beat this guy though. 
Oh yeah, and he's tough too. Hyper armor. Okay. Oh. I assume he. F oh, he heals as well. Oh, this is terrible. Okay, don't heal, please. <sighs> Thought I was out of his range. Oh, God, I f like not taking account of his range at all. Oh, and I don't have anything else. Oh, my God. <laughs> Night Slayer's Ring. And I get two. Where is it? Ring of the Savage Zorig, more commonly known as Night Slayer. Long ago, Zorig engaged the guardians of an ancient city in a bloody confrontation and returned with their rings as his prize, still frozen on their dismembered fingers. Black bug, bug pellet. Have we read that, actually? Yeah. Okay. So now the thing here is to not aggravate all those guys. Don't know if it's possible. What time are we looking at? 32. Perfect. Ah, hello. Rings again. Have you seen Horus anywhere? No. Oh, yes, I see. I searched high and low with no luck. Perhaps he left the catacombs. He might have. Oh, Horus, where have you run off to? Oh, Horus, where have you run off to? Have you abandoned me? No. What a horrible thought. Oh, why are they... So, incidentally, he's right there. I didn't realize you could see him. Uh, I guess you step back, so... There he is, right there. So it makes sense. He just fell. He probably fell and died, and um, that caused him to go hollow, as we'll see later. I hope that's the right thing to do. Um, but I'm going to refresh. So does that ball go away permanently then? Or is that just... That'd be nice. Um, I think also I'm going to... No. I didn't think so. Poison dark? Let's do dark. Oh, I almost got hit there. Okay.
Myths hero. I do want to summon someone. I'm not sure who you can summon. Like, I don't know who you can, like, summon. It's all about touching this goblet. It'd be nice if you could just skip this fight and just be like, boom, I'm gonna go in there. Like, where is anyone to summon? I thought you could, uh, summon, like, uh, an NPC. Are they like hidden in here and I have to find them or what's going on? Let's see if we can grab someone else. Oh, no, he's still there. You can climb down here. We're going to do that later. <sighs> I don't like this. Oh, here we are. Angelo. Let's do it. I just like having another person to kind of distract from the, <clears throat> the skeletons and such. So there's a goblet with a skull on it. We touch it and it leaks dark. Like the abyss. Like the deep. We don't know about the deep yet, I guess. This is kind of a cool moment. Boom! Grave Ward and Pyromancy Tome. Oops. <laughs> Did I put that on my thing? Okay, good. Okay. Angela broke one of the... Uh... What? What? That smoke... What? Okay, maybe I don't understand the mechanics of the fight. That smoke was nowhere near me. I thought... Was that a glitch? Am I just not understanding something? Hmm. Weird. So he blew out that smoke, and if you stand like within that smoke, it kind of like kills you instantly, like that. But I mean. I have five embers. Okay. Let's see if we can summon someone else in for five seconds. Dark new. Okay. There's weird chains everywhere. Oh, 
I'm walking here. I just gotta summon him for that. I can't do that well because my left trigger doesn't work. Yes, I'm squatting down here. Okay, let's do this. Okay. I don't know what to do about this now. That smoke is nowhere near me. Okay. Okay. Now all three of us go at this one. Oh god. That's a sword. So yeah, I, I don't know if I mentioned explicitly, but you have to break his three uh, bracelets and then they'll basically defeat him. He's almost dead. Um, yeah, defeat him for me. And then he falls down into the abyss. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm not sure what killed me that first time. I'll have to review the footage. Maybe I was in the poison mist and I didn't see it. So, I don't know if anyone knows what's going on with this. Like, why is this goblet before Irithyll? Irithyll why do we touch it in it? And it brings us to like the abyss. And when we defeat High Lord Wolnir, it opens up this door. I don't know if that's like ever. Oh, interesting. There's a tree, kind of like that one in Dark Souls 2, in that masonry up there. Oh. They're still here. Bye. All right, so. Lord Wolnir of Carthus sentenced countless souls to gruesome deaths, keen to outlive them all. Oh, we have to give that. Grave Warden, so we have the Grave Warden Ashes and the Grave Warden Pyromancy Tome. Pyromancy Tome of the Grave Warden from the Carthus Catacombs. Give to the Pyromancer Master. High Lord Wolnir of Carthus succumbed to the Abyss, but the Pyromancer later became a Grave Warden and discovered the Black Flame. Okay, interesting. So it seems like the Grave Warden, as described here, began as a squire to Wolnir, probably. And that accoutrement is probably a, something to do with the. Uh, uh, Wolnir. Uh, but then he became a Grave Warden, and during that process he um, became a Pyromancer, or re he continued to practice Pyromancy and discovered or created potentially the Black Flame, a dark Pyromancy. Interesting. Grave Warden. Well, we shall not know his name, I guess. Uh, so yeah, we gotta go back. Uh, we're at the end of the episode and we gotta go back to Firelink, but I'm going to go back from here So that we can we're not gonna do Irithyll next But it's gonna be a little bit unorthodox Now 
interestingly enough, that's a demon, a stray demon, who is, uh, yeah, why am I doing this? Let's beat, let's defeat him. Oh. Okay, maybe that's why we shouldn't defeat him. He fights with, like, all these guys. That's why I wanted to do this. I guess while we're doing this, let's go grab this, uh... Mimic. over half my health. Black blade. That's interesting. A short katana wielded by the swordsman and distinguished guest of High Ward Lord Wolnir. Oh, this shiny black blade is thick but shorter than typical katana. The swordsman was a master of a rare technique, traces of which can be observed in this weapon's strong attack. Assume a holding stance to rapidly execute a lunge and such. So interesting. High Lord Wolnir and the Old Iron King seem to have a, at least a, a subtle connection there. Maybe Lord Wolnir is the Old Iron King, and this is for... Um... Oh, he didn't get hurt at all. Um, okay. Do we have anything interesting here? No, not at all. Oh, that hits me. Okay. Yeah. So, key thing to keep in mind, don't um, put on a bow and stand right in, in front of where um, you can get uh, knocked off of easily and then be incapable of rolling so that when you uh, are being approached by the demon that it can uh, easily kill you in a hit. I'm sure, you know, everyone's kind of grown up with that saying in their family, but I'm just, you know, sometimes cliches are true for a reason. I shouldn't do this because I'm probably gonna die again instantly but you know YOLO not in this game okay so we definitely want to get our souls because we had 44,000 of them okay come here or shoot remote. What was that come down on me? Okay, I just want to get everyone up here so that they can uh, fight him. Oh, wow. 
He's only interested in me. Okay. I don't know why I'm obsessed with doing this, but <laughs> I just think it's cool to see the other enemies beat him. <laughs> and him eviscerate them. <laughs> I've only seen... seen him them kill him once we get another soul of a demon which I think says the same thing demons were born of the chaos flame but the flame has not survived and the demons are a dying race Interesting. They still exist, but they're dying. Old Sage's Blindfold and Witch's Ring. How are we doing? 52. Okay, we're good. A tire of pyromancers of the Great Swamp, particularly favored by Old Sage's. It kind of looks, like looks like what Cornix is wearing. The large blindfold blocks out unnecessary light, allowing one to observe a pyromancy's true essence. The flame reveals all and obscures all. And we have the Witch's Ring. The Witch of Isolith and her daughters, scorched by the flame of chaos, taught humans the art of pyromancy and offered them this ring. Every pyromancer is familiar with the parable that tells uh, of the witches espousing the need to fear the flame and teaching the art of pyromancy to men in hopes that they might learn to control it. It's interesting. We hear so many different stories about the origin of chaos and flame and pyromancy and demon sages and fire arts and, and all these different things. So it's kind of interesting that... Uh, you know, that, <laughs> that witch's ring is so succinct. I mean, it makes sense. I guess we're far enough in the future that we don't know. But it just seems to be like, boom. They create a pyromancy, and they shared it with everyone, which is not exactly true. Okay. Um, let's just start off with someone else this time. Okay. Okay, Black Serpent. So this is a dark pyromancy, probably created by the Grey Warden. Release undulating black flame that runs along the ground. Pyromancy discovered from the abyss by High Lord Wolnir that inspired the black arts of the Grey Wardens. Um, be it sorcery or pyromancy, all techniques that infringe on humanity lead to the same place. That is to say, they all seek a will of their own. Yeah, we learned about in um, Broom Tower, we found the fire snake or whatever, fire serpent, and it said that the pyromancer there wanted to create a fire with a will of its own, which is kind of interesting. So maybe Broom Tower would be, okay, wow, okay. So Broom Tower, the person that created those pyromancies was um, not Engi, but the the Magus, the Magus, the Magus for Eld Iron King, named similar to Engi. It's like Igel, something like that. Aha! And he was, and he was the. Uh... Okay, so this High Lord Wolnir is the Old Iron King. Or, you know, this story is very similar to the Old Iron King and Igel, who created the fire art, uh, the fire snake with a will of its own. That's really interesting. 
I, it might just be a, a connection or an evocation, but it's certainly kind of cool. A holy sword eroded by the abyss. When Wolnir uh, fell to the abyss, he was gripped by a fear of true darkness and pleaded to the gods for the first time. This holy sword, together with three armlets stripped from the corpses of clerics, gave him some semblance of co comfort. And the skill is wrath of the gods. Thrust weapon of the earth to emit powerful shockwave. The wrath of those swallowed by the abyss is a thing to be wary indeed. Yeah, he does use that in the fight. We didn't get to it, but it does have a area of effect like wrath. Hmm. So he was not religious, but he became religious after he fell into the abyss. Oh, interesting. So, stray demon and demon were different, actually. Hmm. Ah, most illustrious. Yeah. Now, now. Interesting. Well, I learned something today. Okay, we know Hawkwood is gone. Do we have? We have a pyromancy tome. And a, well, we have two pyromancy tomes, and Cornix can't use both. How, how gracious, passing fine ash thou hast given. Let this ash be stone nourishment. I only hope these new wares content thee. <laughs> Let's check them out. I think black bug back black bug pellet is new. I believe read it. And Carthus Rouge. And Titanite shirts. Now infinite. Um heal aid. Okay, Undead Legion Helm. Attire of the Abyss Watchers, the Undead Legion of Farron. These undead warriors vowed to partake of wolf blood. They acted in the dark, seeking out any sign of the Abyss, fighting a constant war with its abominations. This pointed steel helm was a distinct symbol of the Legion, shirked as a sinister omen by the masses. Keep that shape in mind, for sure. Now it is interesting, so there were dark wraiths, which were looking to draw, in the original game, draw humanity from humans for Koth, um, and they worked kind of in favor of the Abyss, but we saw dark wraiths in Farron with the Abyss Watchers, who undoubtedly would fight them, and that's why the dark wraiths were, I bet the dark wraiths were attempting to, like, kill the Abyss Watchers, ultimately. Okay. The Exile stuff. The leather, and then Wolnir's crown. Crown of Wolnir, the Karthus Conqueror. Once upon a time, such things were bequeathed judiciously to each of the rightful lords until Wolnir brought them to their knees and ground their crowns to dust. Then the crowns became one, and Wolnir, the one high lord. That's also a very unique, that's kind of like potentially a reference to the, the DLC and the content of Dark Souls 2, where you get the four crowns, essentially. And and then you do get the super crown from um, Vendrick, and you don't die, or you don't turn hollow when you die with it. So maybe it's a similar kind of thing, reference. Ashen one. Oh. <laughs> I probably should have like at least discovered Irithel so that this guy could Oh hey Pandin. Oops. You can keep that. Yeah, okay. Goodbye. Oh, this 
Okay, so now I should be able to reinforce this again. Tome. Uh, he can do Karthus, but not Grave Warden because it's dark. Well, well. I've never seen anything like this. This inscription. This tome is from the catacombs. Fascinating. On this day, the teacher learns alongside the pupil. <laughs> now, lucky for us. Um, he won't even accept this, whereas Arena ex can accept her dark ones, and I don't want her to, so I'm not going to offer, but... I'm afraid I cannot accept this. This pyromancy tome is dark, and delves into the depths of men where an untouchable flame resides. I cannot comprehend this myself, let alone teach it to you. It is a spell forbidden in the Great Swamp. And nearly everywhere else, too. Only one terribly afflicted or burdened by deep sorrow could begin to understand this. Well, I think I know where to find that person. Acid Surge. Pyromancy of Karthus of the Sands emits an acid that corrodes weapons. Karthus's swordsmen attach great value to victory and would not shun the use of such pyromancies. For where is the honor of death in scoured bones? Carmina, Carmina. The most obscure pyromancy developed by Karthus of the Sands. So I wonder if Karthus was the original founder of the land. Damage increases with consecutive attacks. Carthus's aggression has been likened to an uncontrollable fire, and since ancient times, its beacon has been used as a signal for war. Warriors of Carthus favored supplemental pyromancy such as this, which was used to enhance the curved blades of its swordsmen. Just want to see if. I'm missing another Karthus one. Okay. Ah, you found a tome in the catacombs. This spell is akin to chaos. Hmm. It may even serve as a link to Isolith, home of pyromancies. Okay. Clue. Ah, you found it. Do not be gone for long. What? Are you gonna say anything? Then? Perfect timing too. I'm in need of a diversion. Okay. Nothing new here. I don't mean to. Okay. Promise to. I will give you something. Uh, Arena's definitely not gonna say anything new. And Leonard's not gonna say anything till we join. Yuria might. Probably not. Oh, we did see Henri. Speak, I did honorable. Our lord and liege. Knowest thou of a maid named Anri? Mm hmm. She is hollow. Yes. And will join thee in wedlock. Oh, okay. A fellow of mine guides her at this moment. Ooh. When the time is ripe, thou mayst make thy salutations. For what lord taketh no spouse? That's not very progressive of you, Yuria. Also, in From Software's design, you know, Henry's always the opposite sex as you, so you can marry them. Which is also not progressive, I guess. But this is dark fantasy. Things are a bit more traditional, I guess. Our Lord and so, we are going to marry Henri for some reason. Till we meet again. Uh, she's hollow, which means that she has the dark sigils. 
as well because people are not hollow in this land. People are only ash. And knowing that she's hollowed um, means that she has dark sigils. And as you can notice here, we are holding five of eight. Remember held there. Um, so in order to do the final ending, we need to have eight total. And the only way to do that is to accumulate five before the catacombs, or before uh, you defeat Wolnir. Just checking. Um, and then you need to marry Henri, which is a very bizarre wedding ceremony. Um, which will then get grant you three more uh, sigils, which will give you the full eight, which you'll need. Uh, and we'll get into that more later. But um, she also said that Horus, or she is com she is joined by uh, one of our own. And um, where is it here? So interestingly, the Blue Sentinels, of which Horus is a part of, is related to the Dark Moon, which Cirrus is a part of. And Horus is a part of Londor, in some way. Yeah, it's all very interesting. Um, we'll learn more about Horus in the next episode, because we're going to go fight him. But, uh, yeah, finding a hollow in this land is unique, actually. And so I suppose, what are we to do but to marry the only other hollow we meet? Ah, yes. Wow, I'm just prattling on. It's home, really a long episode. Speak thine I guess I shouldn't say that anymore. All of my episodes of this are going past an hour. Very well. Then touch the egg now. Um. Perfect. We'll stick on that and we'll go with Faith after that. Alright. Well, that's all I'm going to have to say about this. And uh, I guess we'll continue... Uh, with the next episode in Smoldering Lake. Bye!